Hello and after a long hiatus, welcome back to LRC's kitchen. It's been a while and I've stayed away from my kitchen for a variety of reasons, not germane to what I'm going to present to you this morning. I'm going to make a chili based salon or a chili based curry which is semi liquid and uh, the ingredients are I've taken about six green chilies of this variety and size I've taken about two tablespoons of besan about three tablespoons of curd I have with me some pepper powder, kali mirchi powder, some red chili powder, some haldi or turmeric, some dhania powder, a little garam masala, adrak lasan paste, something that I normally don't use some cumin seeds or jeera and some mustard seeds and rye. There will of course be salt to taste and oil. What I will now do is first get on the stove. I have slit the green chilies like this. Ensure you don't cut your palm while doing this. After you cut the green chili, do not de-seed it. Take some oil and fry it till the skin changes its color and shape. It shrinks a little. And on one side, you may find the color changing to this green. As the oil is getting heated, what I will now do is take a bowl in which I take, as I said, two to two and a half tablespoons of basin. I'm adding a pinch of black pepper. some turmeric powder, some dhania powder, slightly more dhania powder than I added black pepper powder. A bit of garam masala, very little I add. Now I add mirchi powder. Now I will add the curds and mix this completely. Ensure that this is a good mix without any lumps in it. I will add some more curds into it from the taken quantity. I have ensured that there are absolutely no lumps in this mixture. Look at the texture. This is its consistency. Now I leave this masala. This will take about two to three tablespoons of oil. A liberal helping. So I'm going to begin it with seasoning. The mustard seeds have started to splatter. Now I add jeera. Eat 
into this now, I get the uh, gas to the minimum and start adding this paste. The critical aspect to this dish will be the present stage where you will have to constantly ensure that no lumps are formed and this mix of curds and basin gets cooked properly and you get that nice basin fried smell. Now itself you see that there is a lot of jeera and rye in this mixture. The effort is also to ensure that there is not much lumps being formed. At this stage, I will add a little ginger garlic paste, something that is optional. Once again, mix it up. I will add some water to this mixture. A good cook is often somebody who needs to use their hands, whatever are the other things, spoons and spatula they have. So here comes the hand in getting the entire mix into this water content, mixed properly. This also ensures that there is not much wastage of the masala and your measurements don't go awry. Now I will add this water into this. Continue to stir this mixture. If there is a slight delay in adding the water or mixing it while the water is added. A few lumps if formed, you can always break them like this as has happened in this instance. Acknowledge Ritika's guidance in this dish. She has been, she has tried it out once and she has been uh, backseat driving me in this event. Add some more water. Because you must understand that finally you are going to get this in a semi-liquid uh, state. Now stir it. Now this is the kind of consistency you will find. It is reasonably liquidish. And now we get it to a boil or a simmer till the oil starts coming up as you can see on this side of the dish. I hope uh, Datu, my cameraman, is getting it into the camera. The oil is slowly coming on all sides and you can see the boil of the masala. At this stage, add salt to taste, which for my requirements would be this much one, slightly more than a teaspoon maybe. I would decide on the quantity of water after the final simmer is done. Now you can see the oil coming as a layer right through the mixture, not just at the outer circumference, but even with inside. Constant mixing would ensure that if there are any lumps of basin and the dhai, the kaed, it is broken right now and the lumps don't remain and what you have at the end is a smooth paste. At this stage, I take this 
mirchi which I told you what to do before. Take a separate kadai, slit it vertically, put it, fry it till it gets into this color and shape. Once this is added, close it for about 2 to 3 minutes and the dish is over. We will catch up at the presentation. But before I sign off on this, I must acknowledge uh, Ritika's huge contribution to this, Datu as usual and Abhinav. Thank you all. Do watch. Try it out and comment about it. Thank you. Good day.